Welcome back to WCDC Art. In this project, we'll be using a mix of mediums to create this cute but intrigued canvas. You'll need an 8x10 canvas board, paint brushes, a paint palette, and acrylic craft paint in brown, blue, and white. You'll also need a mix of buttons in different shapes and sizes, as well as tacky glue. Before beginning this project, I have my canvas board on top of a separate board just to protect my work surface. Our first step for this button tree is to kind of put it into an environment and create the background. So to do that, we are going to paint our canvas board blue to act as the sky. So if you have blue paint, you can put it out on your paint palette um, and start painting. If you have a dark blue, you can mix it with some white to get a light blue. And we are just going to paint the entire board. So I'm going to mix mine a little bit. And again, we are just going to cover our entire canvas board in this blue. When we have the entire board covered, we are just going to let it dry and come back to see if we need to do a second coat. So now it's time to add a second coat of blue. While the second coat is wet, we are going to take some white paint and put in some clouds. So when the background color is still wet and we add color on top of it, it's going to kind of blend into each other, which will create a nice transparency for the clouds, which are kind of transparent when you look at them in the sky. So we are just gonna take a smaller brush, some white. You can even blend the white a little bit with the blue, but mostly white, because you want a super light color. And then you can just create um, little cloud shapes by going in like little circles, or you can create lines. No cloud is the same, so there's really no wrong shape you can do. As your clouds dry, you can take even more white paint and top it on top of that one. And then it'll kind of create a depth of clouds that are in the background versus ones that might be in front. So next we are going to draw out our tree trunk. So I'm going to draw mine out in pencil first before I paint it. And to do that, I'm just gonna start at the very bottom of the canvas towards the center and kind of go a little bit to one side. And I'm just gonna kind of draw a not straight line. Um, you know, tree trunks are jagged and rough on the outside. So I'm gonna kind of try to portray that on the edges. And as I come up, I'm gonna kind of bring my line more towards the center. So the base of the tree trunk is gonna be wider than the top. 
And then I'm gonna come to the other side and do the similar thing. And then when I have the trunk part of the tree done, I'm gonna start branching out for branches. And just like the tree trunks wider at the bottom, the branches are gonna be wider where they connect with the tree. When they come out, they're gonna be a little bit thinner. And when you're drawing this out, you don't have to draw the entire branch. We're just gonna stop maybe in half inch to an inch past the tree trunk because the buttons are gonna come here and kind of cover up um, where the end of the branches would be. So now our next step is to paint our tree trunk brown. If you don't have brown paint, we can mix them. You would just need red, yellow, and black paint. When you have brown paint already, you're just gonna take a smaller paintbrush and paint the tree trunk. I'm just gonna let it dry and come back and do a second coat of the brown. So now that the tree trunk is painted and highlighted, we are going to go through our buttons, kind of pick our favorites. You can sort them by size or shape or color or just go completely random. Um, and we are going to first kind of just place them onto our canvas to see where we want them to be before we glue them down. You can even glue some of the smaller buttons on top of the larger ones. Once you have all of your buttons placed, you're just gonna take your tacky glue and start gluing them down. So next, I'm gonna add just a little detail to the outside of the buttons, just to kind of set our button tree apart from some of the others that are out there. So I'm just gonna take white paint and a pointed small brush and make kind of like almond leaf shapes um, every so often. Another little thing that we can do to add some extra detail to our button tree is to put little dots around also. So a little tip for that is to use the end of your paintbrush, not the bristle part. If you use the end, you kind of get more consistent circles. So I'm just gonna take that, dip it into the white, and just add some dots. It could be near the almond-shaped leaves we made, It could even go in where you have some gaps in your buttons. For our last step, we are going to take our permanent marker and we're going to kind of outline the side that we didn't put white paint on for highlight. So just gonna trace the edge just to give it a little bit of shadow. And then what we're also gonna do is kind of create bark texture by 
kind of just doing more jaggedy lines up and down the tree trunk. And it kind of picks up a bark look. Thanks for crafting with WCDC Art. Be sure to subscribe for updates and new videos.